is here. I have already told you the ending. Now we only know starting direction and ending direction. And previously I have told you. Let us only assume that it is intersecting only one point. And I have drawn. I have taught you how to draw this. This is also correct. because we know the starting direction and ending direction how many times it is intersecting is unknown to us so we have to find out omega pc in order to know how many times it is intersecting the phase line omega pc is nothing but the point at which the plot or the curve crosses minus 180 degree line that is it is crossing minus 180 degree phase and hence phase crossover frequency This is minus 180 degree phase. So, the point at which it is crossing minus 180 degree phase, the curve. Suppose it is crossing at only one place. This, the point on the curve, that is the value, the curve has when it intersects minus 180 is the omega pc. The curve, the value that curve has when it intersects minus 180 degree line is the omega pc. Now. How will you get the omega pc? There are two ways, but let us solve it only one way. The simple way is, it since the curve is crossing minus uh, crossing the curve at magnitude curve at minus 180, let us equate the phase equation to minus 180. That is, the phase equation we have got is minus 180 degree plus that is plus tan inverse omega minus tan inverse omega by two. Minus tan inverse omega by three. Yes. Now, at omega, uh, when the curve has omega pc value, it is crossing minus one eighty. So, if you equate this phase to minus one eighty, the frequency changes to omega pc. So, solving this will give you omega pc tan inverse omega pc by two. Plus tan inverse omega pc by three, and if you do the complex, I mean not trigonometric calculation, you get omega pc values as zero plus or minus one. Since frequency cannot be negative, and frequency is not zero absolutely for this curve, we can we we can only the exact value or the valid value for omega pc is only plus one. It means the value the curve has when it intersects minus 180 is plus one. That is, it is intersecting minus 180 at only one point, and at that point the curve has frequency plus one. So we can conclude that it is intersecting only at one point, and we are unknown of the magnitude at which the curve is crossing minus 180. We don't know this point value. Let us assume this is a. Now. Since this is magnitude, we have to substitute omega pc value in magnitude equation. If you substitute omega pc value in magnitude equation, we get a value. Now, what is the magnitude equation? Magnitude equation is omega square plus one into omega square under root under root omega square plus nine under root omega square plus four. Now, if you substitute in this magnitude equation omega pc. The value you get is nothing but this a, and for this problem we get it as one by five. And now, since we have got magnitude one by five, the gain margin is nothing but one by a. That is one by one by five. That is five is the gain margin. Gain margin is nothing but the amount of gain that can be introduced into a system. Introduced. In a system, till the system reaches the verge of instability, instability. So the gain margin is five. Now, in order to calculate PM, you must first know omega GC. Omega GC is the value at which the magnitude will be one. If you equate magnitude equation to one, 
the corresponding omega value in that magnitude equation will be omega g c. If you remember Bode plot, this Bode plot intersects zero db line at omega g c value. This you will write as omega g c because at this point, if you consider since this is negative slope, negative or positive anything, if it is a slope negative or positive, plus or if if you consider this, it will be positive. Plus or minus twenty log magnitude g of j omega h of j omega is zero at this point. Now, since this is zero db, it means the log value will be zero only when this value is one. That is, g of j omega h of j omega magnitude is one. That means this. If you equate this to one, in the same way, if you equate omega j c omega to one, if you equate this to one, the corresponding frequency is omega j c. And if you solve this, it is very complex equation. You get of the order six, and Somehow, if you calculate it in other way, the ultimate values you get will be up to six or more, twelve values, I guess. But you get only one positive value, and that positive value is point four one eight to something. So only positive values are considered for frequency, and hence only omega g c equal to point four one eight two is valid in this case. Now. We know omega g c. Substitute the value of omega g c in the phase equation. Phase equation is nothing but minus 180 plus tan inverse of omega. Substitute omega g c there. Omega g c by 2 minus tan inverse of omega g c by 3. If you substitute omega g c in phase equation, you get some value. Uh, something. Let us assume it as minus 178 or so. You get this value, and if you add plus 180 to the value you have got here, that is minus 178 plus 180, the corresponding value you get is nothing but phase margin. That is, to calculate gain margin, you must first know omega p c. How will you get omega p c by equating phase to minus 180? You get omega p c. This omega p c. When you get it as minus 180, then when you equate phase equation to minus 180 degree, you get omega p c. Substituting omega p c value in the magnitude equation, you get the intersection point magnitude, which is 1 by 5. And if you inverse this, that is 1 by a is nothing but gain margin, and that's what you find in books as 1 by mod of g of j omega h of j omega at omega equal to omega p c. Is nothing but gain margin, and for phase margin, you must know omega g c. You will calculate omega g c by equating magnitude equation to one. You get omega g c value. Some x. If you get omega g c value, substitute it in phase equation. You get some y value, and for finding. Gain margin you had inverse you have inversed it or in the way reciprocal the fraction as one by a here you need to add plus one eighty phase that's it you get phase margin these G M P M calculations are very important to find stability and 